Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the control panel assembly in your wine cellar, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Your first step is to uninstall all of the racks. To do this, pull each rack forward, then lift the left side stop lever up while pushing the right side stop lever down to fully remove. Next, remove the tape covering the control panel assembly wires. Detach the bushing and disconnect the wire connector. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, loosen the four control panel assembly mounting screws. You will need to detach three or more of the rack slide rails to remove the control panel assembly. With the side rails removed, lift the assembly out. Now unthread all of the screws to remove the two bottom covers. Remove any tape to detach the wire harness. Then remove the foam block insulation. Prepare the new control panel assembly for installation by removing the tape securing the wire harness to the assembly. Insert the foam block insulation. Align the wire harness and secure it with the tape. Position the two bottom covers. Thread the screws. With the covers secured, align the new control panel assembly on the mounting screws. Tighten the mounting screws. Slide the bushing on the control panel wires. Connect the wire connector. Position the wires inside the liner and push the bushing into place. Replace the tape to cover the wires. Reinstall the slide rails as necessary. Reposition all of the racks. The small rack goes on the bottom. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and your wine cellar should be ready for use.